Roots was a piece of theatre created for the Gypsy Roma Traveller History Month, performed at DT3 Lancaster for two sold-out shows in June 2009. The piece was created by young people from the Gypsy Roma Travelling community, and it combined creative writing, dance workshops, theatre and visual media. Preparation began in March at venues across Lancaster and Morecambe. Ludus Dance Company worked with the young people on devising dances at St. Patrick's School and at various youth and community centres. We like the dance because we got to make it up ourselves like bits of it. When I was dancing, uh, I felt special. Uh, my role in Roots was we went to the dance classes and did the script writing and costume making and all things like that. It, I think it was like a really good experience and like got to know more people and it was like something to do like now, like no we're not doing it, it's like what do you do on a Wednesday? The young people worked with the Duke's costume department and designed costumes for the dance sequences. We, we, had, to, we had to design our own costumes. They were very, they were like fairies. The young men from the travelling community worked on building and painting a vado at Lancaster and Morecambe College that would be used as part of the set. Work began with creative directors Louis Ingham and Tom Lloyd to devise a script for the play that was to be performed on the evenings of the performances. The play was to bring together inspiration from Tom's film Rolling Thunder, the welcome stories of NCBI, as well as the girls' personal experience. Just come and make a circle here, please. On mini post it notes, we placed around where we were born. Uh, where we've been to for more than a week, so it could be a holiday, it could be somewhere you've stayed or lived. Um, and we talked through our journey throughout the UK. And that for me was fascinating to see where some of the places that the girls go to um, for work purposes. So to Musselburgh for the markets, to Appleby for the fair, to Silas and Dufton working on markets. A lot of the stories that the young women told and the stories they collected were used in the script of Roots because it was all about their roots and their traditions. So I think it was a very rich ground for the script to, to be built on. We also wrote an acrostic down a large piece of lining paper just down here that said, me a gypsy, me a traveller, and wrote down words and sentences that were positive about being a gypsy, about being a traveller. Me, a gypsy. Me, a traveller. Me, a gorger. The play was about um, travelling to Appleby. Yeah, yeah and I liked it when the man came up and said, me, a traveller, me, a gorger, me, a gypsy. And this, right from the start, we made it clear to the girls working with us that this was a chance for them to put their story across how they wanted it to put across. You know, this is their piece, it wasn't our piece. For minority groups, many, many of their histories are told through stories and through oral traditions. And so for the young people to get a chance not only to interview their elders, um, but also to tell their own stories as well, just ties in really well with the traditions and culture of, of the Gypsy, Roma and Traveller communities. The aim of Roots was to tell other people about our culture. And the thing that really resonated for me was the amount that people within that community are proud of who they are, where they've come from, and that that pride is passed from generation to generation, but also that you're just born a gypsy, you're born a traveller. One of the girls said, even if you choose to you lose your traveller background and uh, lifestyle, you can't change who you are because it's in your blood. It's something else. It's different. It's who you are. It's in your blood. The rehearsals gathered steam, and as the performance drew closer, the dancers and actors began to rehearse in DT3, where the performance would take place at the end of the week.
we uh, we had a week to rehearse and um, we had a lot to do in that week. We got the script on the Monday. It was about 30 pages and I talked for at least half of it. <laughs> um, and I had to stay up pretty much every night, about four in the morning learning the lines. And then on top of that, we had to learn how to set up a bow top with a horse. It was a lot to learn in a week. She always does. My favourite part of the route um, was when we went to the practice at the Duke, so I always did the practice at the Duke. It was like really big and it was like a proper stage and it wasn't like really like small like in the hall, it was like a actual stage. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, it 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 was really good. On the 12th and 13th of June 2009, Roots was performed in front of a sellout crowd each night. Excitement was in the air and first night nerves were beginning to kick in. And it's your chance now to make it sizzle and sparkle like magic so that everybody watching you is entirely hooked by what you're sharing. Well, I was happy because um, I was happy, but when I got first in the stage, yeah, I was a bit nervous, and then through the middle of the dance, I got braver and braver and braver, then I was all right. Just before I went on stage, I felt nervous, uh, but excited. Um, I think we were all quite proud of ourselves. A large part of the audience from the Gypsy Traveller community had never been into a theatre before. So for them, they had to come out with a positive experience. And the messages we were trying to get across had to be just right. The messages also had to be right for the settled community because what we were trying to do was blow apart stereotypes, get a little bit deeper into what it's like to be a young traveller girl in the 21st century. playing the traveller and the audience was 80% travellers and I knew that and I knew that I was representing them and it was really important that I got that right and I didn't offend anyone. You stay at home, you work, you save up your money and then you leave your house. We travel to find money to work, that's our kind of travelling. The audience was just, the energy was so high, they were, they were so excited about being there. It sold out both nights and people were literally queuing up at the doors and everyone was just so excited to see it. Well, when we opened on our first night, I wasn't personally sure whether we were, how it was going to do, whatever. And just like in any play, you wonder if it's going to sell out and things like that. So uh, when we got there and we realised that it was in, like it was totally full and people were getting turned away and things like that, it was quite exciting. When the audience was clapping, I felt relieved that they liked it. Um, I'm very proud that we had done it. The show was well received, both in the Gypsy Roma travelling community and in the non-travelling community. Roots was a very successful performance, created as a good representation of the Gypsy Roma traveller way of life. I learnt like, how to dance and all that, and I learnt a lot more about Traveller's history. Just to like celebrate the History Month and like, send other people knew about our culture and like, knew more about us. It was like, so people could learn, and like, non-travellers could learn like, what life's like. And I think there's probably I think there's been a lot of theatre and a lot of work done over the years with Gypsy and Traveller community that's not had their involvement. It would be important to the community to get it right because 
it very rarely is right. It was really fun that you met all the people and that, and like you got in touch with people and stuff. Yeah, it brought us more closer together, all of us. If we got it right, there's every chance we could go and do it again. If we got it wrong, it wouldn't happen again. We got it right.